The future of medicine is not learning in silos anymore. Technology is mission critical. Technology is everything for the students. That's something that our alumni are interested in and that it is a trend in medical education. We sit on a university campus with lots of other schools, the nursing students, the pharmacy students, the social work school with their social work students. I mean, the concept is it's a team approach to taking care of patients. And to be a really good team, you have to work in the team. You have to learn about each other. You have to understand how other people think about the same kind of an issue. When you do that, it means you've got to have space. It's very flexible. I oversee uh, classroom technology services and uh, video production. Of course, when you're building a new building, uh, IT and uh, classroom technology and storage is the last thing architects uh, or designers ever think about. We got into what other kinds of technology was perhaps available and heard about the dirt technology, which truthfully we had never heard about before. Once we saw it, never turn back. We have a lot of different components connected to these screens. So there's a lot of devices that are really uh, tucked inside of the uh, dirt wall infrastructure, really accessible to get to, taking a simple uh, tool and popping off the panels. We don't think that we'll ever move those walls, but the incorporation of the technology was really a superior solution to what we could have done in drywall. My name is Shannon Campbell and I was the project manager. One of the benefits of using the system was the ICE system where as we made changes, it was real time in the system. Just having it be so quick turnaround from a drawing perspective was very nice. I was around the country with the development team. A number of places where we have a number of alumni and also friends of you know, University of Penn and the School of Medicine. And although you can show them you know, pictures, pictures are pictures, there's something about that 3D as you're sort of moving through it that really gives them the sense of uh, the whole enormity of the space and how everything integrates together. It was like, whoa, this is really something. Every room was named within a six month period of time. When we had the ribbon cutting, everybody wanted to take pictures of themselves with their families in these rooms. We decided to go with a prefabricated modular system for the job. One, because of timing. We were in a bit of a crunch. Two, we didn't have to worry about staging multiple different types of materials. We brought in only what we needed and when we needed it. I was a project manager for electrical company who were the construction managers on the project. We had to design, get it fabricated and on site in, in a pretty tight time frame. We had a milestone date that we needed to get finished by in order to celebrate the 250th anniversary of the School of Medicine. At the end of the project, that's when the, the time uh, really shortens and you're really in crunch time. So. Uh, having these prefab walls and the ability to have all the electrical and AV built into the walls uh, before they showed up to the site was a huge benefit to the project. From an install perspective, just from working with AV integrators, they just love the idea because that's the biggest part of installation processes. How do we make this look clean? How do we make this look seamless? And then from a service standpoint, how do you actually get access to the devices? And so with, with this concept, it just made absolutely sense. One of the reasons that the schedule was challenging was that the decision to go to Dirt Walls was made while the progress and project was already ongoing. Well, I think looking back on it, had we maybe looked at this solution from the beginning, I think it would have made things easier. We worked great as a team, got it coordinated and designed and fabricated and they showed up and it was pretty seamless. I don't want to seem a little bit um, overconfident, but uh, this is the room of the future. We're doing tours now, and, and all the feedback we're getting is we got this right. Anywhere from video streaming, video conversing, videotaping, collaboration, multi-layouts, we cover the gamut. The students love the space. Flexible, can be used in multiple ways, and works all the time. And then faculty who come over to teach tell us, I'm never going back to another space on campus. I only want to teach here. It's been a win-win-win for everything that we've done here. It takes your breath away when you see students really around the computers and all working together and, and all working on different things and the teachers all walking around. You realize, man, this is really good. This is good.